Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be my first drugstore recommendations video. I did try and film this a couple of days ago, and then when I went to edit, I found out that I had lipstick all over my face, which is lovely, and it means that I've been given the task of trying to film this video and upload it all in one day. So we'll see how that goes. It may be a little bit late, so I'm sorry if it is late. But anyway, I really wanted to do this video as, obviously, a lot of you can't afford high-end products, and there are some gems in the drugstore which I absolutely love and do use on a daily basis, so I really wanted to share those with you. I'm going to make this a bit of a series and try and do this sort of every month so that every month you have some new drugstore products to add to your wish list and each video is going to have about 10 products in. This one does have 10 products in so I have stuck to it this time. This video is going to be a mixture of hair care, skincare and makeup but do let me know if you'd like to see a drugstore recommendations video featuring solely makeup or solely skincare or something like that. So anyway, on to the video. So the first thing I want to mention is a long time love of mine and it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and as you can see I have hip pan because I do absolutely love it and I use it on an almost daily basis. It's just a really lovely one to use to set your makeup because it does have a slight tint to it which means that you don't get a sort of white cast all over your face but it doesn't really give any coverage so it's not going to make your makeup look cakey and it just sets everything in place without taking away all of the shine so you still do have a little bit of your natural oils shining through so that you don't look completely matte and fake. So I really love that one and although I do have to still powder maybe twice a day when I use that it's just a really nice affordable one to use and just throw in your bag although you do have to be careful because the lid is slightly flimsy. The next two are sort of chubby stick variations and the first one is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick and this one's more of a gloss, it's quite sheer but it still does give you a really nice tint. I think these are meant to sort of plump up your lips a bit and I'm not sure about that but I do know that they make them look really glossy and full. This is a shade Nudist and it's just a really lovely Your Lips But Better colour, it's sort of a peachy brownie pink colour so it's just really nice and great for every day. And then the next product is a new release and it is the Revlon Matte Balm in Sultry and this is what I'm wearing today, it's just a really lovely brownie pinky colour colour and it's really nice for every day when you want more of a proper lipstick rather than just a sheer tint. I would say this colour is probably better for darker skin tones but I do recommend the whole line equally. The formula is just really lovely and buttery and it doesn't dry out your lips at all and the colours are really matte but not too matte so they do have a slight bit of shine so they don't look too flat. The next product will come as no surprise to you because I do use it in almost every Get Ready With Me and tutorial but I do really love it and it is the Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara. This is just a really lovely mascara for length and volume. I'm wearing it today it's just so easy to build up the length and volume that you want without having to put too much effort in or spend too long on it so I really do like it and it's just a really lovely quick and easy mascara to use and it really doesn't fade during the day or make my eyelashes drop which is great. The next product you've probably all heard of because it has been raved about a lot here on YouTube and on blogs but it's the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in On and On Bronze I think this is called Bad to the Bronze in America but I really do love it it's a gorgeous bronzy colour but it's quite cool so it doesn't look too warm on the eyes it's just really subtle but it does give them a bit of definition and a bit of colour. It's great for everyday wear or if you're in a rush or going to school because it's quite subtle and it's really easy to use and just blend out with your finger and it stays put all day on me without creasing. The next product is probably the cheapest makeup product I own but it is definitely one of my favourites and I did feature it in my 2013 favourites and it is the Natural Collection Blush in Peach Melba and I wouldn't really say this is peach, it's more of a light dusty pink colour with a slight hint of peach but I do really love it and it's just a really subtle natural looking blush to wear every day. The pigmentation is really great for such a cheap blush and I don't find it chalky or powdery at all which I really like. It just looks really natural and subtle on the skin and does last a really long time and for $1.99 you really can't go wrong. So the last product is something which I use every single day without fail and it is the e.l.f. Wet Glass Lash and Brow Clear Mascara and this definitely has the longest name of any makeup product I own but it is a really great product. It has one side for your lashes and one side for your brows but I just use both sides for my brows. It's just a really simple brow gel which keeps everything in place but doesn't make your eyebrows look crispy or dry or anything like that. It can be a little hard to get hold of in the UK because obviously you can only get it online but if you're planning to make an order from there I do definitely recommend picking it up. So the next thing is a brush and this is definitely a brush which I absolutely love. I use it almost every day and I'm so glad I picked it's it up. It's a number 7 powder blush brush and it's just a really great multi-use brush brush. You can use it for sort of contour, for blusher, for highlighter. And you could also use it for sort of setting your concealer or sort of powdering on any spots areas which you want to powder. So I do really love it and it's just a really great brush to have in your collection and I'm so glad I picked it up and I don't really know what I'd do without it. The next product is a skincare product and it is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan Rose Hydrate Calming Creamy Cleanser. And this is just a really lovely light cream cleanser to use. It doesn't have any particular scent. It's slightly rose scented but not so much that it will irritate 
take sensitive skin at all. When you massage it in, it does almost feel like it completely sinks in like a moisturiser, but once you rinse it off, you can definitely feel like it's getting rid of all the dirt and it leaves your skin feeling really fresh and clean, but also quite moisturised and plump. As you can see, I've nearly finished this because I do love using it in the morning. I definitely recommend it if you have sort of dry or dehydrated skin because it's a really nice alternative to a foam cleanser in the morning because it is still really refreshing and it leaves your skin hydrated. The final product is a hair product which I discovered quite recently but I have been using it a lot since then and it is the Dove Refreshing Care Dry Shampoo. I only like to wash my hair sort of once or twice a week so this is a lifesaver for me because products like Batiste just leave a really strong grey cast in my hair and make them feel really powdery and it just makes me feel like I really need to wash it even more than before but this is completely different. It does take away all the shine and the grease but it doesn't have that grey tinge to it so it's great for dark hair and it also gives you a bit of volume which is really lovely. The best thing about it is probably that it's quite weightless so I definitely can't feel it in my hair once I've sprayed it in and I don't feel like I need to wash it out at all which is great. This is probably a great one to try if you have thin hair because obviously it's not going to weigh it down and it would also be a great one to use if your hair gets quite flat on sort of second or third day. So they were all of my drugstore recommendations for this video. I do still have quite a long list of products I want to share with you so I will be making this into a bit of a series and doing these videos quite frequently. Let me know some of your favourite drugstore products because I'd love to try them out and I'm sure everyone else would love to try them out as well. I will list all the products in the down bar along with all my links and the links to my blog sale which is still going on. Like this video if you like it, I'd really appreciate it and do subscribe to see more of my videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!